These lights are intuitive, tough, and very bright. Use the link below and code OLIGHT10 for 10% off anytime. SHOT Show 2019, we're at Cimarron again. I'm here with Michael, how are you, man? Hello, I'm fine, my name's Michael. I work for Cimarron Firearms, been working for quite a while. I just want to uh, show off a few of our new guns uh, for this year. This one right here is a 1862 pocket conversion in 380. Uh, everybody's been uh, waiting on this to come out. We finally got it uh, where we can uh, start uh, selling them. We had a problem with uh, ATF. A was couple it the of barrel, rounds. Barrel the barrel, was the, the barrel was too short, yeah. which made the gun lighter than what they wanted. So uh -huh. we lengthened the barrel to six inches, and they finally said yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the other issue we had was the action was a little stiff. So the owner of Cimarron went back to uh, the manufacturer and says, nope, we gotta lighten this up. So we've got uh, better action, longer barrel, and now we're ready to market. I like it. Talk and, a little bit about um, sort of the history of the sort of pocket conversions and all that stuff. Uh, back in the old days, this gun was black powder. Okay. 1862 pocket, black powder. Uh, gamblers, lawmen and whatnot used to carry it concealed. Uh, so we thought it'd be a good idea to take something this small and turn it into a modern cartridge, 380 ACP, which uh, anybody can shoot this gun. Some people don't like black powder, but this one is a cartridge conversion. Yeah. It shoots the normal 380 over the counter to Sammy spec ammo. So uh, there's no loading gate here. I noticed that. But it is offset. It is offset. The cylinder holes are offset and where the shell will not come out because of the back wall keeps them from, from uh, falling out while you're using the gun. Right, so I guess it's probably, I mean, really the, the wall there that's offset or brought down a little further because this has got to line up. And, that's and exactly right. And stuff, but. So when you're loading it, it's fine. When you got it loaded and hammered down on an empty chamber, then the uh, shell casing is offset with the cylinder wall there. Normal capacity is five, but, but that, yeah, but I mean, in guns empty. in guns of this type, we recommend uh, only load four. Okay, man. And put the hammer down on the empty chamber. That was my question. Safest way to carry this type of firearm. For sure. Yeah. For sure. That was my question about uh, pockets in general was whether they're five or six, because I, I don't have a lot of experience. Most of the time they're five. Okay. Because they're so small. Yeah, makes sense. Perfect. Um, and the prices are right there on the card. Prices so are there. Take a little screen grab if you're interested in that. Uh, and as far as availability, pretty soon? Uh, we gonna, should have some here in about the next two months to start, to start shipping out uh, to the customers. Yeah, that thing looks like it's going to be so much fun to shoot. Oh, it should be. It should be a... a I mean, yeah. it'll, it'll recoil like a 22 plus, right. you know, 10% or something, but it'll be so much fun. Exactly. I love it. Cool look, cool gun. Cool it gun. is very cool looking, yeah. Um, all right, you got one other one over here for I got see. another one right here I'd like to demonstrate show. It's called our El Malo 2. A lot of the customers out there have our El Malo originals. The difference in this one is we've got the Thunderer grip with uh, checkered wood. We got uh, still have the Octagon barrel. We have shortened it to three and a half and we have added the low wide hammer yeah so the wide hammers are great cowboy action shooters mounted shooters will love this configuration and we should be getting these in in two or three months also yep and they're going to come in uh uh believe 45 and 357. okay and this would be a five plus an empty as well right this will be this is a six shot so you would want to load five yep and then hammer down on, on an empty, empty chamber. Yep. Figure best way to best way to carry. Yep. Uh, there, I've been a, I've seen a few uh, revolvers where they they work the hammer in such a way or have a block or something that. But typically, you're right. That's that's the that's the that way is the safest carry safest way to carry. Yep. You betcha. Cool. That is gorgeous. It is a nice configuration. Uh, as far as the barrel, I think you said that that's not necessarily period correct, but it's just a really cool addition. It, right, this type of gun, the 73 single action, didn't come with a octagon barrel back then. Yeah. But 
we uh, decided to put one on it. Cause why because why not? Because everybody loves octagon barrels. They sure and, do. I and, do. And why not? Something yeah. different. Somebody that wants something different and like this, and uh, they have become a hit. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the white hammer is not period correct. The right. The white hammer is not period but it's, correct. It's very nice, and people want it. You so bet. Cool. What's this thing what you is? got over here in this beautiful box? This is something special right here. This is a Walker's Walker. It comes with the whole kit you see, the case, walnut case. We have the nipple wrench, we have the powder flask, and we have the uh, cap container yeah. to put your caps in. It is period correct stamped. We're going to do a limited run. It has special military markings on the gun. Nice. These are limited editions and 5% of the proceeds of this gun, this kit right here, goes to the former Texas Ranger Foundation in Fredericksburg, Texas. Excellent. And the Texas Rangers have been around since the early 1800s, and they're a very fine law enforcement group. Indeed, indeed. Price on that, I think, was on the Price class Price on there. that. So have a look at that, guys. And these are available really soon as well? Real soon as well. All right. Cimarron, man, I could stay here and look at these guns all day. <laughs> also, I, I envy you, Michael. You get to do that. <laughs> I get to play with them. Yes, sir. <laughs> you bet you. Uh, the next shelf down is yeah. the uh, some commemoratives uh, from the Civil War, the blue and the gray. Nice. And the labels here will tell you exactly what they are. I won't go into each and every one of them. Sure. But these are going to be our, our first runs. Those are really beautiful. And so we have two from the south, two from the north. Wow. And they're really gorgeous guns. They are. This one here, I'll pull one out. This one here is, is charcoal blue barrel, charcoal blue cylinder. Of course, you got the case hardening frame, and then you got the wood grips with the uh, flag. Oh, wow. For well, the south. The south. Look at that. And for anybody that has a question, the flag is only going to be on the right side. Okay. That's worth noting. All right, Michael, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Like I said, I could stay here all day and look at these guns, but <laughs> SHOT Show is a calling. We are at Cimarron with Michael. Thanks again. You're welcome. And we'll see you guys soon.